The CDC is warning about a potential climb in cases of acute flaccid myelitis this year. Its symptoms are similar to polio, so it can have some serious health consequences for children. And cases peak every other year. And although the illness overall is rare, 2018 saw the highest number of cases ever recorded at 238. So add this to the list of health concerns parents are trying to navigate right now. So we wanted to get more information about it for you. We talked with 11 Alive medical correspondent Dr. Sujatha Reddy about what parents most need to know. The signs and symptoms to look for are gonna be things that look like an upper respiratory infection. Your child seems to have like a runny nose, that type of thing, possibly a fever. And while those are signs of coronavirus and the run of the mill cold, what you'll see more with acute flaccid myelitis is gonna be things affecting their nervous system. They may have trouble walking. They may say their arms and legs are tired or don't work right, they seem weak. You may notice that they're having trouble you know, speaking. They can also cause headache, backache, things like that. We don't want parents to be scared to bring their children to the doctor's office or an urgent care or an emergency room if they're showing signs of something that could be serious for the fear of coronavirus. The hospitals and doctor's offices are taking lots of precautions to protect us once we're in there. And there's some things that are gonna need to be evaluated by a healthcare professional. Dr. Reddy says the CDC wants people to know the signs and symptoms of this virus because the earlier that doctors can catch it, the easier it's going to be to treat. CDC officials say they do not know how the COVID-19 pandemic is going to impact any possible outbreak.